now for a look at the forecast and we might be getting some rain pretty soon. Yes, we have some changes on the way as we round out this weekend. More moisture is moving into the state, so we will be seeing widespread storms develop over Colorado's high country later on today, spreading across the plains and some cooler air will move in. But we have one more hot day ahead here over the metro area with daytime highs topping out in the 90s. Right now it's dry conditions for the I-25 corridor and east. We're starting to see a little bit of that moisture moving in over portions of the western half of the state but it's not going to be until later on this afternoon that will really become more widespread in nature. Outside this morning, we're in the high 60s, low 70s. Unfortunately, we have another ozone action alert day in place, an air quality warning. Metro Denver west into the foothills up north to the border until at least four o'clock that will remain in effect. So if you suffer from asthma, lung disease, respiratory issues, probably want to limit time outdoors today. Ozone levels are in the high range. Today we're expecting temperatures to climb to the low 90s here over in the metro area. If you're out and about into Colorado's high country through at least midday, you'll be dry and clear. But later on this afternoon, thunderstorms are set to form. So highs today will be in the 90s across the northeastern corner of Colorado and triple digits down south. So some big heat building to our southeast. Up into the mountains, Steamboat Springs and Aspen both expecting highs in the low 80s later on this afternoon. But that moisture is set to roll in after about midday. Here's 330. You can see near Leadville, Rocky Mountain National Park starting to make its way into the Denver metro area. Chance for thunderstorms producing some gusty winds, pockets of light to moderate rainfall, some heavier rain possible, especially later on tonight over our northern mountains before we clear out. So some fast moving thunderstorms expected and tomorrow will start off dry. Temperatures on Monday only in the low 80s, so a nice little cool down from the high heat we've been seeing, but more of that heavy rain possible, especially over the northeastern corner of Colorado. Strong storms set to form and roll through for both Monday and Tuesday. So let me take you through our seven day forecast as we get into the next 10 days. Some wetter and cooler than average conditions will return to the state, and you can see that as we get into Monday and Tuesday with highs in the low 80s both afternoons. Storm likely Wednesday a few isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon and then back to some warmer and drier air by the end of the week.